In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can master overlays inside of Premiere Pro. Now, this may seem really basic, but I'm going to put you guys onto a bunch of different ways. You can mess around with your overlays to make them look very unique and add a bunch of extra sauce that you wouldn't know about. This video is for beginners and pros, so make sure you guys stay to the very end. And sorry, before we hop into this, I'm running a buy one, get one free sale. So enough about that. It'll be linked down below but let's hop right into this. So opened up in the Premiere Pro timeline, we have the Gunner Bleed music video and the overlays that we're gonna be using on this are my transitions right here. We have film flickers, film accent lines, and film punch holes. Now, you do not have to use my transitions. Like I always say, They'll be linked in the description down below, but you guys can download a bunch of free transitions from YouTube as well. And there's a bunch of free packs out there. Follow along with what you have, or if you want some high quality transitions and want to support the channel, you can grab them down below. So let's hop right into this. So starting off inside of film flickers here, you guys can see we have a bunch of high quality film accent or a bunch of high quality overlays here. Now, the way that this would usually work is you drag and drop it in. And then when it's inside of the timeline here, you can see it just plays on top of your footage, just like this. Now, if you click on it and you go up to effect controls here, you want to mess around with the blend mode here. This is where stuff is going to get funky. This is where we're going to have some fun. So the go-to one I like to use a lot of the time is screen. If we go ahead and scale this in just to match for the composition size here. If I play this through, you guys can see if I put it in between a transition, we get a nice film transition. Let's bring it above the color grade. There we go. That's a lot more uh, like it. But if you do want to have it be like the same style of your video, you can put it below the color grade. Totally up to you guys. So the go-to one is screen. I also like to do color dodge sometimes. Color dodge looks cool sometimes, as you can see the difference between screen and then color dodge. There's also lighter color as well. Um, this one can be used maybe on some like Y2K, like different edits. You can see it does a different interpretation of it. A uh, screen kind of just gets rid of the black areas. If you do multiply, Multiply will get rid of all the white areas and it will make them black. So you guys can see we get a unique look with that there. I think that matches this music video a lot because it's called Bleed. Let's turn this one on and jump into some other ones here. Let's go inside of our punch holes here. So these ones say what they should be on them. So if we drag and drop this one here, it's called Difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale this up just like so. Maybe a little too much of a scale there. And if you want to go ahead and put this one on Difference here, you guys can see it gives it a really unique look there. But it can also be used on screen as well. You're going to get kind of that these like rougher areas on screen compared to normal. Or if you guys want to do color burn as well, that one's a good one as well. Or multiply. I mainly like to stick with screen, color dodge, lighter color, multiply, and linear burn. Um, those are the ones I mess around with. But a cool pro tip, if you click on this, I think if you use your arrow keys, you can go down on here. Yeah, so I'm just clicking on it once, going down, hitting enter, clicking on it once, going down, hitting enter. And we could see all the different uh, unique looks. So we have screen here, which is the go-to. This one's cool, uh, overlay. Overlay is always a go-to one as well. And then we also have the film accent lines as well, which are another favorite of mine. We go ahead and drag and drop this on here. And then once again, go inside of effect controls and change it to screen here. We get a really dope transition with these here. And let me hop into a little bit of how I like to adjust these and make them look unique. So if you wanna go inside of Lumetri Color here, we can open up, I think it's curves actually. Yeah, hue versus sat. And this is orange, so we're gonna create three markers here. And you could turn it down to make it more white or turn it up to make it more intense. You could also do a saturation. But if you wanna change the color of it, there we go. If you just move this around here, you can change this color to whatever you want. You guys could see, I'm just clicking and dragging it around and you can make it multi-colors. So we want it to be green. And let's say we also wanna make it a little bit more intense here. We can go back into basic correction and you can turn up the exposure. And then if you wanna turn up the contrast or turn down the contrast, you can see the difference it's making there. It's making this a lot thicker on the speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down and make it a little bit more soft. And you could also turn the saturation up. And if you want it to be more of a blue tone or more of like, you know what I'm saying? mess with the blacks as well i think these look better kind of turned down we get a nice transition like that now like i was saying earlier for my black friday buy one get one free sale we're offering buy one get one free on every single one of our editing packs and it works up to an unlimited amount of times so if you guys are interested in grabbing these overlays alongside a bunch of other stuff that we have to offer go check it out down below you can grab one of them and get the other one for free or you can grab two and get the other one and then another editing pack 
for free. It's fully up to your guys' choice. There's like so many assets inside of here, as you guys can see, if we scroll through this one, and if we scroll through the film flickers as well, and then scrolling through the film accent lines as well. I love to use these on my music videos, and I think they add a lot more character. And I'll show you guys another method as well. So let's say we drag and drop in our first overlay that we wanna use, like this one here, right? What we could do is go ahead and scale it in just like that. Set it to screen as we usually would. And let's say we like that look right there, right? And then the next one that we wanna drag and drop in, uh, let's go to film flickers, for example, right? Instead of having to do the exact same thing all over again, we can just go to this original one, press command C on it, go over to this new one, press option command V, make sure we have opacity selected as the blending mode will be under that and have motion selected as well because we did scale in and then hit okay. And it's just gonna match that. So let's say we wanna have that one there. And then we're like, oh, let's use this one here. Let's bring it here instead of having to do it all over again. Really easy, option command V, enter. And then we have that one there. So we wanna do like a punch hole here. Um, option command V, enter. And there's just like, honestly guys, so much value inside of this pack here. Super hard. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this quick tutorial on blending modes and how I like to use them to add overlays to my videos, make sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.